Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I just wanted to show that I've upgraded the light fixtures that I have over the Citrus. Um, I have these older light fixtures that are for the T12s and it's going to become increasingly difficult to find these T12s. Um, this fixture here is from Home Depot and it's a shop light and it has four uh, T8s. And you can get grow light fixtures, say on Amazon, that have eight and I think also 12 uh, T5s. One that has eight bulbs in it will run about $150, $180. I think I just looked, it was $179. So these are from Home Depot. These are $52. It's four T8s. Uh, I don't think there's much of an advantage uh, between the T5s and the T8s. Uh, the T5 is a smaller bulb, and of course the T8 is a little bit, is, is also smaller than the T12. Uh, uh, the T designation is like an energy efficiency designation that they started to use and became popular, I guess. But I was just reading online that really there isn't too much of an advantage. There are some situations, but uh, from what I was reading real quick, there's not too much of an advantage as far as um, energy savings and light uh, output between the T5s and the T8s. So I bought these two fixtures and then a third one, as you can see here, the spread of the light. Um, I'm trying to get it as close to the citrus as possible and then it, so it's not going to spread out as much as if they were up higher. So some of these on the outskirts, I might try to transition into the house. I have uh, done that with the uh, air layer that I started uh, and removed last summer. So I was curious, uh, I don't have a light meter. I, I was curious what the level of light uh, improvement was over the individual T12 fixtures that I had. Um, but it seems brighter and I don't even Home Depot didn't even carry I believe I got this this is an aquarium light um, they used to have plant lights but really they don't it's almost like the incandescent lights are being phased out too and uh, along with these uh, selection of fluorescent lights I'm sure if you go to a specific uh, grow uh, store hydroponic store uh, you'll find specific lights that are supposed to be, you know, geared toward the particular spectrum for whatever you're growing. But yeah, the uh, they're a little bit, a little bit inexpensive. I had two of these. I forgot that I had these. Uh, they're good shop lights. They actually have their own individual on and off switch that uh, these older fixtures did not have. And they come with a plug. These particular ones, you don't have to hardwire them in. So I can move these wherever I want. You know, if I have a different application for it, it's easy to do that. And they have a protective screen on here, I guess, for, you know, if you hit it with a piece of wood maybe or something, if you're moving around in your shop. I don't know if it gives it too much protection or not. And that just folds down. You undo this little uh, hand nut, and, and then this has a couple of clips, and then this just slides. It's hinged on one end. It's by Lithonia. Seemed like a good deal. Needed some extra light here on the on the citrus. Let's go look at the other two citrus. So I've got two here. Um, that I'm, I'm taking advantage of the late afternoon sun that comes through the cellar window. And I guess this is where I'll put an additional light. What I had to do is that fixture there with that porcelain uh, fixture for the incandescent light. You can get two versions of those. One has the plug built into it. So I need to change that and add that. So now I can just plug into that fixture with the fluorescent line. 
So this is it here. It's a four light, heavy duty shop light. Lithonia lighting. So you can see here it says fully assembled, ready to install. Does not come with lights. Um, that 179 price I quoted from Amazon for the eight fixture light, uh, eight light fixture that that actually came with bulbs. So you have to pay extra for the bulbs. Pull chain, 12 inch textured gray reflector, five foot power cord, and ground grounded convenience outlet, five amps max. Pretty good, well-made fixture. So let's open up the box and take a look. So you can see it's pretty substantial. Pretty good gauge metal. Textured. That's the top. There's underneath. And you just uh Unscrew this. this. There's three of these clips. They'll allow you to swing open the guard. See so these instructions. And a tie wrap here with the chains. And the full screen. So I just needed to drill some holes, put some hooks in, and hang this. Again, nice textured spray. Nice construction, seems like a quality product. The only thing I don't like about this is the center clip here. Um, what they've done is the threaded stem here is pressed in to the metal and then this little nut comes off which you drop and can easily disappear. They should have had this with a threaded stem on it and then have a thread threaded threaded the metal here so that just screws into that um, it's not a big deal well they could have had the clip had had it so they um, there was a threaded nut with the stem on there that stayed locked inside the clip so it wouldn't wouldn't be a loose part but that's not a big deal. You only take this off when you're going to be replacing a bulb. But I already, already dropped one of these and had a look for it. This is that ceramic light fixture I had to install. Porcelain lamp holder. That's what it's officially called. You've got the outlet built into it. It's nice to have that outlet. So I just need to install these two hooks. I think it's easier just to go ahead and install the lights before you hang the fixture.
And the chains go on. Just hook this in. Ready to hang. So oh, there's the light. So hopefully that's enough light to get these two citrus through the winter. This is New England Gardening and this is a Lithonia shop light with four T8s. Thanks for watching.